down below, we've got uh, a massive hole. <laughs> okay, come on. Ta da! Ta da! finished yet but we're getting there we had our Baltraster tunnel uh, fitted and it's ready to be glassed in but what's a bow thruster in simplest terms it's an additional propulsion device which helps in maneuvering and makes docking the boat in marina easier with short thrusts it can turn the bow in either direction Remember when right at the beginning we were moving Squalor to a new spot in the marina? Here you see how the staff are turning the bow with the use of the dinghy. Right, bow turning. This is essentially what a thruster would have done. It's in your hands there, Ziggy, mate. It will be very useful as Squalor with long thin keel can be difficult to manoeuvre and not always goes where we want her to. We haven't got the, tr the thruster in the past. It's a new good change, we think. And I know a lot of you will say, okay, you have a bow thruster, you will lose a lot, about half of a knot with, when you're sailing. Yeah, half of a knot, we, we might lose even more or less. That's not a big issue for us because we are cruising boat. We're not going to race. Losing half of a knot, it's not that much. But having this in some of the marinas, especially in the Met, which they're very tight, it's a game changer. So um, I'm really glad Rob is doing this because in my, in my head, I, I was thinking like this have to be really tight, no gaps around, but Rob explained if you do this that kind of a way, then hard material, it's touching hard material and you don't really have much space to fill on the sides, which is not good and this might, might cause cracks in the future. So we're making a bigger opening than the tunnel and you just setting this one perfectly. This one is set with the millimeters from each side, which is perfect. And he will <coughs> fire this one in, he will just bone this into the, in, into the hole in the next few days. So next time when we come, hopefully it will be done. Mm -hmm. Yay. Mm -hmm. Every time we come into the boat, we still can smell old oil from the engine it's trapped underneath that oil sump and there is no access into it so we decide to cut the bottom of this oil sump I marked the lines around the edge I left about two inches when we finish with the bilge this will be this will become our support for a new glasswork here uh, just to close this one so now I will use multi cutter to make that opening and we will see what is there I can bet it's pretty disgusting hopefully we will rid of a uh, that unpleasant smell <laughs> Water is collecting on the back. Oh, right, yeah. And takes it, takes it down there. It's going there. Well, that's Which is not the great, greatest thing. We should have this one here. We can see this oh is God, full of water. Because those wow. two pipes, which they, they are there, they're just putting the water inside this compartment. Yeah. It was a very good idea to do that, babe. Thank you. The stench it was horrible. Wow. Just 
Yeah, that's yeah, so much oil. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. That's like sewage. Phew. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what it smells like. <laughs> it smells like crap. Let's just chuck it. Wow. I've got different rules. At first we used the manual pump, one that we used and abused plenty in the past. Once all the muck is pumped out, we start cleaning the bilge, rinsing it with hot water and pumping it numerous times before it starts to look clean. Soon we realize our wet and dry vacuum will be perfect for this job. Hundred times better. Yeah, it's, it's fine, sound. It's just cleaning now for a few days. Be a good job. Uh, I think we should just get a shower. So in the last few weeks we were looking for new port lights for our cockpit. Those port lights are giving a light to our to our gun. So not find a um, port lights from Bomar company. They have beautiful port lights, stainless steel finish inside, outside. We were happy with them. And we find a bargain price on eBay. When she got there, there was one problem. The ones I went to collect were stainless steel in and out. Um, and once I got there, we found I found that uh, they were stainless steel on the outside and aluminium frame on the outside, uh, sorry, from the galley side. We were not 100% happy, you know, kind of when you expect something and it's not that, you're a little bit disappointed, but it's slowly growing us. And we thought for that price, we cannot afford to be fussy. Let me show you what she find. This is mm -hmm. how they look on the outside. It's a smoky glass. That's the inter interior part of this port light. Four nice knobs. They, everything looks looking really, really good, really strong, and we're happy with them. And the price was really, really good, which is most important thing for us because we're working on a uh, budget, budget and yeah. it's very, very tight. But it means tight budget. <laughs> so we have to work our ass off to buy anything for this boat. We really, really happy with them. We also get them with the mosquito net in a price, which is really nice because uh, most of companies, when you buy the port lights, this is an extra. One more thing. The previous port lights we had, they uh, were smaller than the ones here. So yeah, we have to make a bigger cutout for them. Who's going to do it? Rob, it's gone. <laughs> Rob's gone. <laughs> well, not me. <laughs> I'll be on the other side of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I will try to do it. <laughs> We're ready to start cutting them out.
so you see the smoky glass color this is without obviously much lighter and this is with it does make the galley a little bit darker but obviously we are inside the shed all the spotlights are covered so that makes it much darker so we don't really know how much light those spotlights are going to let in once we are outside but it's not a big deal i think they look pretty good it looks perfect it's really really nice i know i'm very pleased how about you i'm pleased because you're pleased <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go inside and check what it looks like. Addition to those port lights is this frame in the black finish. It could be this will go inside and flush with the bulkhead. I think they look perfect, really, really nice. Mm -hmm. So, well done. Just a quick flashback to what they used to look like. Try to open them, yeah? You can stop it at any time. If the headlining was much higher, you could open it actually all the way. But yeah, that's the maximum we can open it, but I think that's good enough. A nice, nice light coming in. I love it. Nice seal around it, so it seals it properly. Unfortunately, we have to move on to a less pleasant job, and that is repairing the top sides. We discovered a lot of tiny cracks, apart from a couple of places where there is a sign of impact. These cracks are mostly cosmetic rather than structural. But when doing refit like this, and prepping our lady for fresh paint, we had to repair them. Covering these problem areas with paint would be a short-term solution and eventually they would start showing again. So we grind and sand the damaged gel coat. We have to take care of this now before the temperature drops below that required for applying paint. We better hurry then. Winter is coming. Unfortunately, the weekend comes to an end sooner than we would have liked and it is time to go home. a little bit. We truly appreciate everyone following our journey here. We hope to see you next week.